we present 3D convex plotting, radiance field rendering with 3D smooth convexes. This is a joint work between me, Abdullah, and my collaborators from uh, Oxford VGG, University of Liège, and KAUST. 3D Gaussian splatting has emerged as the state of the art in terms of fast and realistic 3D radiance field rendering and have been used extensively for so many 3D applications over the past three uh, over the past two years. Some of the limitations of Gaussians is that they don't have uh, boundaries, they're continuous and therefore they uh, struggle to model flat surfaces or uh, actually represent the surface and the line it's seen as well as uh, because of their smooth uh, nature they struggle with uh, hard edges uh, which constitute a lot of, of the realistic uh, th uh, shapes and scenes uh, in real uh, life. Uh, several follow-ups came over the last year uh, for example 2D Gaussian splatting made the Gaussians flat uh, so became to make them uh, more uh, surface aligned and more geometrically accurate. A GS paper from La CFPR uh, uh, proposed a generalized exponential formulation where it extended the Gaussians to more general form with extra parameter uh, beta. In this paper we propose 3D convex plotting which is also trying to do novel view synthesis and 3D reconstruction, but is able to do uh, and model of sharp bounds and sharp uh, objects utilizing the proposed 3D smooth convexes, which can work as smooth uh, and as transient as Gaussians, but also can work with uh, sharp and uh, hard edges. So, uh, we can think of the smooth convexes are in the middle between uh, if you're looking at 2d smooth convexes it's in the middle between like 2d gaussians and 2d polygon since it has uh, defined boundaries but it also can include a transient effect of the gaussians and similarly uh, you can think about 3d smooth convexes as in the middle between 3d gaussians and 3d polyhedron so if we try to fit like 2D Gaussians and 2D smooth convexes on the chair example for this toy example, you can see that the 2D smooth convexes can fit the chair with fewer number of elements and primitives, but also even overall a fewer number of parameters. If you look at these th uh, 3D smooth convexes, um, uh, the basic idea is very simple. So uh, we utilize the sine distance uh, from J hyperplanes and uh, this sign distance represent uh, for each hyperplane and then if we take the max or approximate that uh, distance for all the hyperplanes we have the phi function and uh, if we take the sigmoid um, that basically gives you the indicator function which can control the transient, uh, the transient effect of the smooth convex. We have uh, two extra parameters here, which is the sigma and the delta. So the sigma control the sharpness uh, of the parameter, which is kind of equivalent to the variance of the Gaussian. And the smoothness parameter delta controls uh, the roundedness and uh, the effect of hard to soft edges of the smooth convex. So these two parameters, the smoothness parameter and sharpness parameter are illustrated here. For example, uh, you can see that the sharpness control how things go from dense to diffuse, while the smoothness parameter delta controls how uh, the smooth convex goes from soft to hard edges. Here we show an optimization, just live snapshots of an optimization of a six point smooth convex trying to fit the rectangle and similarly eight Gaussians that are trying to fit the same rectangle and you can see how the smooth convex start um, basically very transient but uh, suddenly uh, or gradually start to actually converge to the very sharp uh, rectangle. Here we show similar toy examples of 3D Gaussians um, fitting the toy shapes uh, on the left even some of them are sharp and some of them are soft the the 
convex is basically is able to model them um, usually better except for the case of a single Gaussian like Gaussians would perform uh, better in that case here n refers to the number of primitives used in the optimization and k refers to the number of points per convex used in the smooth convexes 3d convex plotting pipeline consists of several modules uh, we start by projecting the edge points and boundary points of the 3d smooth convex on the 2d plane um, so we have these k 2d points on the image plane it's important to note that representing the 3d smooth convex with the k points instead of hyperplanes simplifies the projection into the 2d image plane uh, we take the 2d convex hull of these points using the graham scan algorithm so this algorithm is a very efficient algorithm to take the 2d convex hull of 2d points uh, basically by sorting them according to a polar angle and then only accepting points that keep a positive uh, counterclockwise orientation of the last two points it's very efficient uh, it works in the linear log scale of the uh, of the number of points per convex which is usually small once we take these uh, points we construct the sign distances and uh, the phi function and finally the indicator function which we will be eventually using uh, uh, in the rasterization formula notice that we take the delta and the signal the sharpness and smoothness parameters inherited from the 3d smooth convex to the 2d smooth convex we actually uh, render eventually we use the uh, rendering equation with alpha blending similar to how 3D Gaussian splatting uh, combine multiple elements with different opacities. For the optimization, uh, we use similar losses uh, as the original 3D Gaussian splatting. We add a mask loss that um, prunes some of the uh, convexes during the optimization if it has a low, ma a low mask uh, values and we also uh, use specific densification strategy tailored to 3D smooth convexes by splitting the smooth convex to uh, k number of convexes each corresponding to the corner point of the smooth convex and also preserving the original shape of the smooth convex um, we control this by different factors like the opacity and the smoothness uh, of the smooth convex. This mask clause was adopted from the CompGS uh, paper. Please refer to that paper for more details about this mask clause. Here we show some examples. Convexes work better than 3D Gaussian splatting with significant improvement in the uh, visual fidelity metrics. Uh, for example, uh, you can see here that 3D convex splatting achieves sometimes um, better even than the NERF based uh, methods, which are much, much slower uh, in rendering and in training time. For the LPIPS metric, which is considered um, the most important uh, for, for graphics, uh, we can always achieve uh, better results uh, on the deep blending, the tanks and temples, and even on the MIPNERF 360 data set than the NERF baselines and the 3D Gaussian splatting baselines. Note how uh, in this flower scene, in the top row, we can, uh, the 3D convex splatting can model a very uh, high frequency components that have sharp transitions, while the 3D Gaussians and 2D Gaussians fail in these scenarios. 
we provide also a light version of 3D convex splatting that uh, renders the images with comparable quality to the original or the full uh, version but uses significant less memory up to 85% reduction in memory consumption. Here we show additional comparison between our 3D convex splatting and 3D Gaussian splatting specifically when the number of shapes is used in the, to present the scene is reduced and we can see that uh, 3D convex platin can model uh, the high frequency details better than 3D Gaussians and offer a better and more realistic object decomposition as well. Here we show an ablation of the number of parameters of 3D convex platin compared to 3D Gaussians and you can see that uh, it obtains higher visual uh, quality with smaller number of parameters and even smaller number of primitives which is the highlighted number on top of the plots uh, here we show an ablation of the number of convexes each convex split to and as you can see uh, the more convexes we split during the densification the better the results uh, become specifically in background areas here we show an ablation of the number of points used per convex, which is K. And uh, as the number of uh, points increase, of course, this increases the training time, but also increase the performance up to a certain point. Please check the website for more details, visual examples, and the code. Thank you.